Hello, my name is Bob Binder. I'm a solution architect with x -Rite Incorporated. In today's webinar, we're gonna take a look at the multiple jobs feature within ColorCert. The purpose of this is for those printers that have a single workstation of ColorCert, but they're feeding information into it from several presses. The multiple jobs feature allows you to be running more than one job at a time within ColorCert and easily toggle between them. So let's take a look at how this works. And again, this is a tool that's used when we're running color search jobs on multiple presses. I'm going to begin by clicking on press room tools and then load multiple jobs. And this looks like any other color search job, although there's no information here. But what's unique is I do have this little floating window here, which I can move around. So I'm just gonna move it off to the side here. This allows me to open and close individual color search jobs as needed. To open a job, I'm going to click on this button with three dots. So I click on that. That brings me to my color search jobs folder. And by the way, if I am connected to a network drive or to a repository server, it will bring me to the folder wherever my jobs are stored. I'm going to begin today by selecting this Get Set Blue job, and I'm going to click on Open. And you can see that it opened this color cert job now. I have the ability to open more than one job. So I'll, to do so, I'm going to click on the plus sign, and now I can open a second job. So again, I do so by clicking on the button with three dots, and I'm going to open this job called SB Wrapper. Now this is a very different job. Um, the Get Set Blue job, I'm going to actually scan. The SB Wrapper job is a much simpler job. It only has two colors, so I'm gonna spot read that. And with this uh, multiple jobs feature, that works just fine. I use the, the uh, floating window to toggle between jobs. So now that I have two jobs open, I can switch between them by clicking on the job name. I'm going to read first this get set blue item. So if I'm the press operator running this job and I have it open here and I've clicked on this that I have this job open, I haven't taken any readings yet. So to initiate the first reading, I wanna click on measure tool and this will be familiar because this is just like any other color search job. It prompts me to get, begin by measuring the substrate. And then I have to select my strip configuration because I am going to scan this item. This first option here matches. I'm going to click on OK. And again, I'm going to scan this item. So I begin by placing the instrument on the strip. I measure it. After I've taken my reading, uh, you'll notice I have the auto close box unchecked just so that you have the opportunity to see this. I'm then gonna click close. Uh, you can see I have green checks um, in all of my categories here. And if I click on the summary tab, you can see I have a good reading here. So I'm going to click on save as role to save this reading. Now, if I'm the press operator running the other item and I bring my sample over to the workstation, what I need to do is click on the SB wrapper and now I can measure this job. Again, this is the first time I've measured this. So I click on measure tool. In this case, I'm going to measure this job patch by patch. So I'm going to click on OK. And again, I'll begin by measuring the substrate. And it's going to prompt me to measure first a light blue color and then a dark blue color. And this is just telling me that my readings are complete. I can close the measurement window. And now you can see I have this reading for this item. Everything is green, I've got a, a really good score. In this case, I'm gonna click on Save as Palette. 
Uh, the word pallet roll or sample is, is just a word to define how the production is accumulated. So I'm going to save that reading. Now let's just say I'm a third press operator running yet another item and I need to measure mine. I can then click on the plus sign because it's not yet, yet open. To select my job, I click on the button with the three dots and I'm going to measure the orange item. So again, I'll click on measure tool. I'm going to measure the substrate for this particular item. Select my row configuration. I measure the color strip. I'll click on close. And you can see we do have a color out of tolerance here, which I will need to go work on. But if I click on the summary tab, I'm within acceptable range. So I'm going to click on save as roll. And now we have three jobs simultaneously being measured in color cert. If I come back, if I'm the press operator now running the blue item, I simply select on my job. And as always in color cert, once I'm in production, I no longer need to click on measure tool. I simply measure my strip. So I take a reading of my color strip. And now I can save this reading. And likewise, if I'm measuring the SB wrapper, I'm another press operator coming over. I click on that item and I just begin measuring my production. And once all of the patches are measured, I have my reading data and I can save that. And now let's just say I'm done with this particular order. All I need to do is click on complete job, confirm that it's done. And once I've completed a job, I can then close it. And to do so, I want to click on the little X button next to the job name. That will close that particular item. The other two jobs are still here, available for me to continue measuring into them. And if I need to open yet another job, I click on the plus sign and I can open another job just as we did earlier. This feature supports up to eight jobs at one time, so that adds a lot of flexibility to your operation. Thank you for viewing today's webinar. For all of you that are running production on multiple presses, feeding up into a single workstation of ColorCert, I know that you're going to find today's information beneficial. As always, Feel free to reach out to us with any questions that you may have. And thanks again.